Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today's April 28th and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the sun just now starting to go down. And by the way, I just got back from chasing for a few days here. So I will be getting back into the normal pattern of the daily briefings here. Just wanted to check in real quick and show you that we might have had a shower or two pop off across the Sierra Nevada. You can see some cumulus across the interior areas. But uh, this evening, uh, most of the coastal areas largely free of that marine there right there. It's so probably nice sun set for some of you out and about and of course nice and clear across much of the desert areas as well so if we take a look here you can see that as we go through tonight and uh, over the next couple of days we're gonna have some gusty winds potentially even gusting up towards 55 miles per hour this was put out today from the national weather service los angeles and i'll show you the wind speeds here in a moment but you can also see maybe the grapevine a little bit gusty here with the mojave here as well and some of the higher terrain for the most part not very windy across some of the valley areas and this goes all the way through 6 a.m tomorrow morning with some gusts up towards 50 miles per hour and uh, this is kind of like a taunt here from the National Weather Service San Diego. Check it out. Um, you can see 0% chance across much of the region here for this week as far as precipitation is concerned. But there is some hope off into the extended forecast. We'll take a brief look at that also. And we'll also take a look at what we're expecting over here over the next 10 days in a minute. But if we look at the wind speeds here, so let's scroll through this afternoon here. And as we go through, here we are about now. You can see the winds along the coastal areas picking up across some of the higher terrain as well. And as we go on through tomorrow, morning we keep those winds going down the coastline here and we pick them up again as we go through the afternoon and evening hours of tomorrow monday april 30th and you can see some of the gusty north winds coming down through uh the portions of nevada here towards las vegas as we go on in through tuesday morning and then we start to wane that a bit but you can see for the most part pretty gusty here along the coastal areas all the way through tuesday afternoon and then picking up back again on tuesday afternoon across the higher terrain even getting pretty windy there maybe to hatchapi getting some nice gusts out there also some of the higher terrain of the transverse ranges and another surge of northerly winds here showing up <clears throat> by Tuesday night. If we take a look here at the weather outlook uh, for Phoenix, Arizona, you know, we're going to warm up a bit here with some breezy conditions out there and some minor heat impacts, nothing too crazy. And this goes out through May 3rd. Now, taking a look at 18,000 feet, there's the Hawaiian Islands at the bottom left. There's California. And you can see this trough off the coast of western British Columbia up there. So we scroll into the extended forecast and you can kind of see a little bit of an inside slider here as we go through midweek. But then we start to warm up as we go through the end of the week. And another trough comes here. And this is going to suppress our temperatures a bit and we're going to be watching this one over the next few days this is out towards saturday afternoon shown right here and again this is at 18,000 feet nice bowling ball of cold air right off the pacific northwest we'll see how this is going to affect us but definitely not going to be dealing with the ridge in this time frame however we have another truss swinging through and then we may start to build some ridging and really warm up through the extended forecast but again take that with a grain of salt we're looking way off into fantasy lands that's over 10 days out at this point and if we take a look here just going to show you that we are going to have some cold air aloft this is at 5,000 feet. Once you look at the blues and greens and purples, that is below normal. The temperature anomaly here and the reds are above. And you can kind of see this yin and yang and back and forth of some of this trough potential moving through as we go through the upcoming weekend here. And then one more and then maybe some ridging building in here. And so the extended forecast on the European kind of likes the warm up here along the West Coast of North America. We'll see how that evolves again. Take that with a grain of salt, purely fantasy at this point. But this is the 10 day temp uh, precipitation anomaly. And as you can see, quite the deficit here across much of the state, except for maybe the northwest corner here. And this goes all the way out to May 8th. Now, here we're looking at the National Bund of Models. And if we look towards this uh, Wednesday, Thursday variety, you see the warm-up come in. The desert start to warm up again. Some of the valley areas might touch 90 as we go through Friday. Start to cool down a bit here Saturday and Sunday as that next trough kind of suppresses that ridge and kicks it out of here. And we start to cool things down as we go into the following week, though we bounce back a little bit here. And then we'll be dealing with potential troughing as well. We'll see how that works out. But if we look at San Bernardino, you're going to see some above average conditions, nothing too crazy. The red line is the average temperature for this time of year. You can see right around 78 and about 80 by the time you get into the early portion of May. Here's looking at Bakersfield. You can see kind of a little bit of a roller coaster, nothing too crazy here. And by the time you get to early May, the average temperatures start to get above 85. 
Take a look at Sacramento, and you can see some of that troughing showing up in the extended forecast here as well. 81 towards 84 here by the time you get to early May. So, yeah, yeah some nice weather out there to be had. Here's the 6 to 10 day. This goes through May 8th, and you can see a little sliver below normal here. And this is the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlet. Kind of an interesting signal here. And again, we'll see how that trends with the troughing that is going to be moving into this time frame. Again, we're looking way off into the extended forecast. Just want to show you this to have a heads up of what right now looks like it may be coming but you can see the west coast below normal as well kind of at odds with what the most recent european model has shown so we'll revisit this over the next few days of course and the above average signal shows up all the way through may 12th and uh yeah so interesting stuff here i had a nice storm chase out there one of the friday was probably one of my top five days all time saw six tornadoes on that day and saw a land spout the next day as well but yeah i had a very good time out there chasing Probably be doing more of that here as we go through May. I am working on my road uh, setup here because I, I I don't think the tablet is going to cut it. I'm probably going to have to bring a laptop out on the road so I can do a little bit weather better weather briefings in the morning hours so I can keep everybody up to date and I can keep my consistent messaging going here every day for what's coming here across the Southwest US, USA and much of the state of California. So anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.